this is Dorothy with Thought Scrapbooking, and these are the cards that I'm going to make today. So I'm getting ready for Valentine's, and I'm using the Now and Forever uh, paper collection and stamp set, plus some stuff from my stash. The backgrounds, the butterflies and the uh, vine backgrounds, those are my stash thin cuts, and uh, what else? I've got some other... Uh, the little shakers from In the Heart are from both the hearts are from my stash also. So this is these are what I'm going to be making on this video. So I'm using my craft mat that wipes up easily because I'm going to be doing distress oxides on a piece of um, this is called irresistible papers. And the irresistibles are called that because they come with a shiny surface along with a dull surface. And the shiny surface um, has comes in, it's a uh, 12 by 12 paper. And it comes in plaid and little tiny flowers. I'm just going through the lip flowers and the, the diagonal stripes and some squares like a patterned which would make a really nice black and white um, like a tile floor kind of thing that would be very cool I didn't even think about that um, and also stars and dots so you get all those different kinds of designs to that you can make whatever color of whatever you want to make. I mean, so you can use it for cards, you can use it for uh, scrapbook pages. And I'm using Fired Brick Distressed Oxide and also the light one is Tattered Rose. The other, I think, is like a Flamingo Distress Oxide, but I didn't really like it with the brick. So um, you take a tissue or anything dry and you wipe the ink off on the irresistible part. So the shiny part doesn't hold on to the ink. So you just wipe it off and they end up with nice crisp white, a white design. So if I use that, that um, thin cut heart that is in the stamp and thin cut set from now and forever, then I would have to make a bigger dark red background to make the heart stick out. So I just kind of extend my fired brick background into the uh, tattered rose. And then I kind of smooth out any edges with the blending. I like, you know, it's like you can't even make any mistakes when you're do, doing the, the uh, distressed oxides. You know, you just blend them and they're just so forgiving. So that the uh, doily would have been, the heart doily would have been fine. These are some other stitched har hearts that I cut from my Thin Cut stash. And I also made some of those little red hearts with the little tiny white hearts in them. That's from the paper collection, Now and Forever. Uh, and I cut a bunch of, I cut a whole bunch of hearts. So I figured I'll be using them. That flower is also from the Now and Forever Thin Cut set. It's a stamp and a thin cut and you can uh, they have two stamps that go with it, one where you can put a lighter background uh, down and then put the darker background, so you've got a two-tone flower. So I kind of decided I was going to do a shaker window, and so I always kind of go around the frame part with my pokey tool to just kind of give a real... Uh, to help pull up the inside pieces is what it's for. So, and it, sometimes you have just a couple that don't come up. But for the most part, it does a really good job. So the only problem, it's been so long since I've made a shaker window that I forgot I needed because I wanted to put something on it. So I went and cut some more hearts from the shaker, my shaker thin cut set, and pulled up the heart and started all over again. I'm putting my... Uh, a little bit of the any static down and then I'm pulling my hearts from my stash 
So they're red and pale green and white and pink and black hearts. So, and they, they just kind of remind me, they have kind of a dull look to them. So they, they look like those little sugar candies that have sayings on them, but you can't eat these. So I'm just taking off the little protective window. What I didn't do was use my anti-static pouch on the plastic there. And it, all those little, whatever sequin you've got, it always has a, a static charge to it and or the plastic does and it makes them stand on end and get in the way of the the uh oop the window and the foam foam backing so and then i put my little outline to clean up the edges of course what i forgot to do was stamp a saying a sentiment on the inside of my heart oh my too many things to think about. Okay, so I'm using my clear shimmer brush just to add a little bit of shimmer to it. And it works really nicely on the distressed oxide paint because it it really separates the uh, splatters. Kind of fun. And then I added a little bit of shimmer around the white fancy edge. But then I realized I forgot to put my, my saying on the inside. So right now I'm looking for my, my sticker sheet. And I'm just pulling off a little, one of the little sayings. It says, um, kisses and hugs. And so it's perfect because it matches the little green hearts on the inside. And then I think, eh, I need something else. So the scarlet doesn't do it. The white doesn't do it. And then I have a little piece of black someplace. And I'm thinking, yeah, that's what I need. I need a bigger piece of black. So there's my bigger piece of black. I cut it four and a quarter by five and a half, and I trimmed down my um, decorated sheet down a, so that it's a quarter of an inch less. So it would be four by five and a quarter. And see, it really, it goes with the little black hearts on the inside of the shaker window and just really makes the design element pop more. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put a Happy Valentine's on the inside. Use my little foam pad. Trying to find a block that, that fits. So I'm using a two by three and a half, and I'm going to do it in black. Would have been okay with a doily, but I didn't do it. I guess I figured I'm just starting to make my Valentine's card, so let me just go ahead and save the doilies for whatever else comes up later on, whatever I get a whim for. Isn't that a pretty happy Valentine's? The font is really beautiful. So I decide, okay, I've got to put something on the back, so I'm going to take one of my small little blocks, put the black away because I don't want black hearts on the back side there. And I'm thinking maybe another heart. Then I think, no, I'm just going to put some little scarlet hearts back there. There we go. I think that's just a gorgeous font that they wrote in. So now the other thing I need is an envelope. So I always put a little something on my envelope and I decide, oh, I don't want to put it in black on the outside, which I don't know why I decide these things. It's just, you know, you get a thing and you want it to look a certain way and you don't, I just didn't want Happy Valentine's Day in black on the outside of the envelope. And so I'm just trying to find my microfiber cloth so I can clean the stamp off because there's still you can tell there's still some black on it so I didn't have it it had dried out so I needed to go wet it up and I'm putting it in scarlet and I like the way that looks it's not quite so blatant and now I've got a nice wet microfiber cloth yay 
See, there's the flower and the butterflies for doing those flower, the flower stamp. So there's my first, my first card. And that's how easy that craft mat cleans up. You just wipe it with something dry. Okay, so now this is another, here's the thin cuts for the um, heart shaped uh, shaker window. And these are thin cuts for, actually you can make a slim, that can whole thing can be a shaker window. And so I decided to, I was kind of following a suggestion from Atlantic Heart Sketch Challenge, which somehow I missed putting it on there by Sunday night. So this is what I did. I took a piece, I cut a piece with the uh, smaller shaker window, and I made one in black and one in scarlet. And the silver foil hearts are from my stash, pretty darn old. And I went ahead and cut a scarlet heart to go over the top to clean up the edges and a piece of the silver heart foil to be the base of the heart, the shaker heart. So I'm just going around making sure it's got a really good uh, to release all the inside pieces from the outside window. And so it's just, you just kind of, there's another good use for the, for the pokey tool. It's kind of helping it up. And those little teeny pieces, they're so tiny, they're just not even worth it. Um, but the rest of them, you can use it for whatever, for raising things up. And I do later on, you'll see. And so I'm just going to go ahead and there we go. We just use that little, that thing is good for getting rid of glue where you don't want it to be, but it also helps get up the edges of the those shaker windows. And I'm also going to add some more of my little stash of hearts here. They really like to stick to that foam, I tell you. Okay, so. And then I'm going to put them back because, ta-da, this time I remembered that I wanted to stamp something <laughs> on the inside. And so I'm using hugs, I think it's hugs and kisses. And I really want it to stick out, so I want to use black. Would have been better had I not had the foam, so I have to be real careful pulling the block up. So there's my hugs and kisses. Okay, now I can go ahead and take the, the little hearts and put them back in. So this is what I wanted to do in the first card, but you know, you work with <laughs> what you remember to do. You see how they pop up? That's why you use the anti-static pouch on the plastic cover. Just like that. And it's very dry here right now. So, boy, talk about your uh, static cling. So there we go. I'm just trying to lay them down. They actually stand upright. And they like to get in between the plastic and the foam. Oh, maybe it's why that why I haven't done a shaker window in a while. There's always a little bit of they make you work for it. It's funny. So there's my my scarlet edge to clean up the to make the edges look nice and neat. And then I'm putting tons of Tombow on there. It probably wouldn't hurt to put some liquid glass, a uh, liquid glass, liquid glue to keep everything in place. Okay, and then I'm just going to put my heart right there in the center. And you know what? You can't help but play with it. And so when you send it to somebody, you hope that they start playing with it too. I mean, you just can't even help yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp the inside. With my happy Valentine's Day. And also my little hearts, once again, in the scarlet. Aren't they cute? I think they're just so cute. So I like that. But 
I want to do something else. So I'll come back to that. So now this is another one where I did a black background, four and a quarter, five and a half. So that gets the whole background. And then this is the, um, what is this, mulberry. And so I kind of edged it in mulberry ink. And then this is a piece of, it's like ballerina glitter paper. And so you have to use liquid glue when you're gluing onto glitter paper. You have to use liquid glue. It's the only thing that'll really stick. And so I'm putting, and those are pieces like the flowered pieces, like two by three, the white pieces like um, two and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then the glitter is like uh, two and a half by three and a half. And then I just cut a little strip and a little piece off of the zip strip and uh, put that on. Now there's one of the butterflies from the stamp set and Thin Cuts. So I stamped it first in um, honey, I think it's honey butter, and then the other stamp. So you get a solid butterfly and then you get um, these speckly parts and I did that in black. And so since the outside paper is mulberry, I'm going to use mulberry on the inside. Kind of looks like, is that mulberry or was that scarlet? So I'm going to put a little heart. And some hearts down there. Kind of looks like mulberry. And then I've got my A2 envelope. And I'll do a little Happy Valentine's and some hearts. And there we go. So now we've got hearts and flowers and hugs and kisses and a butterfly. So here we've got this so far. See, I can't help myself. I've just got to play. So I kind of need something. Just trying to figure out what I need. So I'm thinking. Okay, so now these backgrounds, this is the butterfly cutout background. So it's a card a card face thin cut and they're wonderful because it makes these pop-up butterflies and it's just really beautiful I did look this up I don't think we have it anymore um, you can see why it was popular so I made a couple of those but I'm only showing you one card that I make so I put it on the back or on top of um, the ballerina glitter paper and since I use liquid glue, I'm just kind of holding it in place with some uh, blocks. Now, this is the mulberry. And I took my clear shimmer brush. It just needed something, you know. And it doesn't look very pretty if you just look at it plain. But when you cover it with this card front thin cut, then you don't really see the irregularity but it adds a little bit of shimmer coming through and I use the smaller the smaller I just thought the smaller design looked better um, on this particular thin cut so that the flower and vines that is still available and I'll I'll uh, make a link below for any of these products now they by themselves it's like they really needed something so I took a zip strip and just did a diagonal across. I mean, you could always do it straight, but you know, it just needed, it needed something. It just needed something. And so I like the X's and the O's and we've got the green in there, which is Seabrook. And I have, this is Seabrook shimmer trim. And so I decided to use some, to add some green to it to help the green in the uh, background paper come out a little bit. And I'm just thinking, okay, do I need to put a white up there? Or I think that's ballerina, if I'm not mistaken. And so I just kind of top, because, you know, you can't have too much shine. There we go. 
I love shimmer trim. I really love shimmer trim, I have to tell you. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this on. See, I put it on both sides, and I decided to use the lighter side. So I thought I made a pretty card, and it pretty darn easy, too. Those card fronts really make fast work of making a card. And then I do my Happy Valentine's. Once again, it's in Mulberry. And now I'm using the Seabrook, because we did use the Seabrook's Shimmer Trim. So I add some hearts to my Happy Valentine's Day and some Seabrook hearts below. So it, just the, that diagonal piece just really adds um, some interest. It just takes the boredom out of everything is right angles. So I ran some hearts along the edge. I didn't think I did that card, but I guess I did. How about that? So the only problem with the butterflies, I mean, number one, they're really pretty, but you can't really put anything uh, diagonally across them because then you'll shut down one of your butterflies. So um, I'm just trying to figure out if, I, if there's something I could use from the sticker sheet, and it says, I think, be mine. See, there's my mulberry ink. I was thinking I got my tops mixed up. So I'm going to put, just to be different, hugs and kisses in Seabrook with some hearts and some hearts. in Ballerina. And I like this little, this is one of the stamps that I hadn't used yet. So um, it's an airmail stamp with a heart. So it's really, it's really cute. And just had to do it on some scrap paper. So I'm just putting that down there. I, you know, it's just, it's fun to, to do things that are, you know, don't get stuck in using the same stamp all the time, which, you know, I do, I will admit. And so I kind of tried the airmail stamp. I like it. So I'm going to have a lot of, a lot of uh, cards to send out to various people. So, I mean, that'll be fun. Hopefully people will enjoy getting a little Valentine card. So I love the lace, and uh, I do like the little hearts, too. But that lace uh, with the mulberry backing background looks nice with the scarlet. And so with this, I'm going to do I like the stripe. That stripe is actually perfect with that. So I'm going to do another diagonal because I just really like the way that looks. And I'm going to cut out some of the, I'm going to make a little banner. And I put it on the wrong side. <laughs> okay. So there we go with um, the little hugs and hearts and kisses. And I'm going to use some of the ballerina shimmer trim. It's just perfect with it. So, I mean, these are making really fast cards. So here's one of my flowers that, you know, is the background is stamped with a solid rose. It's stamped with the ballerina. And then the uh, details are stamped in scarlet. And so it looks really good with um, this card, I think. And I'm trying to think if I have any kind of like gems to put on there. I didn't mind the hearts on there. I kind of like that, but I don't know if I'll put it on there again. Let's see. 
We've got some little bitty hearts from the sticker sheet. So it's like they're little popping out of the rows and an itty bitty heart with some more hearts on it. Too many hearts is not too many. Okay, so there's the next background. So I tell you, you know, just that is an easy card to make. That, that you could you could totally do that with any of your papers that you've got. You know, you could totally do that. And just depending on the sentiment you put in is either a birthday card or thinking of you or Valentine's in this case. So, you know, you you can make an easy card like this, no problem. I'm going to put some hearts on it here and there. That has a lot of hearts. That's a whole lot of love. So, you know, you kind of get in a groove. When you start doing these, you know, it's always good to make... What am I going to put it upside down? Thank goodness. Uh, you know, you kind of get in a groove. So when you start creating, you know, I'm not saying I'm a great artist or anything, but when you start creating, you kind of get in a groove. And it's like, you want to do this and do that. And, oh, yeah, well, let me add this. So I need to add something to this card. That's just too much black showing up. And I have these little hearts. And I just think they're adorable. And they're just perfect with the little shaker window. They really go with them. And so I'm just going to add, do a little pop up I put it on the wrong side so there we go more hearts okay so here's my envelope for my slimline now remember the slimline cards are three and a half by eight and a half and so um, the envelopes just a little bit bigger I'm gonna do my airmail because that's now like my new favorite stamp because I start, can't help it. So I'm starting to put a little bit more. So that just goes with the, the Seabrook looks perfect with those little green hearts on the inside of the shaker window. The only thing I would add to that would be some of my silver thread, which I hadn't thought about. So here are the cards that I've made so far. Just gonna line them all up here. Oh, there's a heart I haven't used yet. So now you could totally make these cards, people. These aren't hard to make. All of, you know, all of my cards, I use the value pack for my cards. So, you know, I'm not paying a lot for all of those cards. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hi, I'm Dorothy out. Smith. Bye. Thanks for watching my video. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel and learn along with me. Thanks. Bye-bye.